Howard Phillips Lovecraft was born in Providence, Rhode Island on August 20, 1890. His mother, Susie, was from an affluent family. Her father was involved in business ventures. After a psychotic episode, his father, Winfield, was committed to Butler Hospital in Providence and died of syphilis complications five years later. His grandfather, Whipple Van Buren, nurtured little Howard's young mind with classical literature and weird fiction, some of which with striking illustrations, such as those of the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Lovecraft loved science. He was particularly fascinated by astronomy and wanted to become a scientist. But he missed school frequently due to physical and mental health problems, suspected to stem from Korea Minor. Following financial misfortunes and the death of Whipple in 1904, Lovecraft suffered several breakdowns but still went on studying astronomy and chemistry. In 1912, his first poem was published in a local newspaper. Entitled Providence in 2000 AD, the satire clearly expressed his nativism, racism and xenophobia. He also wrote many critical letters about weird fiction stories. His rash critic of Fred Jackson, writer for Argosy, got the attention of the head of the United Amateur Press Association, where Lovecraft found professional success. It was also a time when he was highly creative. With Dagon in 1919, The Cats of Ulthar in 1920, books forming part of his dream cycle, and then the first books of what would become the Cthulhu mythos. Lovecraft's writing was deeply influenced by Edgar Allan Poe, Lord Dunsany and Algernon Blackwood, but also by the amazing book by Robert W. Chambers, The King in Yellow. Howard's mother became ill and was committed to Butler Hospital. After her death in 1921, he met Sonia Green and married her in 1924. After two years, they separated. Struggling with financial hardships, despite Lovecraft's being commissioned by great clients, such as Harry Houdini, for whom he wrote, imprisoned with the pharaohs. Lovecraft moved back to Providence, where he spent the last decade of his life writing amazing stories for weird tales, along with the great Clark Ashton Smith and Robert E. Howard. With them, he formed the great triumvirate of weird tales. Suffering but scared of doctors, he didn't get any medical advice for years. He died in 1937 of cancer of the small intestine. In 1939, August Derleth and Donald Wandre founded Arkham House to preserve Lovecraft's best stories. Howard Phillips Lovecraft remains, even today, the master of cosmic horror and weird tales. Thank you so much for watching the video, I really appreciate it. It is hard to celebrate a writer who is as famous for his racism and xenophobia as for his works. We still have to admire the genius that he put in all his stories. I highly recommend these books that have fabulous illustrations and annotations. Please let me know in the comment which of his books is your favorite. As for me, it's definitely The Shadow Over Innsmouth, which I suspect inspired the fabulous TV series by HBO, The Third Day. And if you have the opportunity, please do read The King in Yellow, by Chambers, it's fantastic and referenced multiple times in the fantastic TV show True Detective. Again, thank you for watching my video, bye bye!